Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another part of Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Edition. Where we last left off was that we were helping Claptrap with his little side quests, including cleaning up urine and freaking. What else is there? I don't know, cleaning up urine, I guess? Oh god, this guy's not like going down. Got him. Alright, yeah, that's the most annoying guy because he, he kind of throws a spear thingy and then it hits you once it hits you you get slowed down and such. Uh is the rocket down stairs? No. Wait what? Where's the rockets? I'm looking for rockets people. Ah I can't Oh uh, oh uh, there we go. There's a little thingy oh there's it is down there. Okay. Uh Hi buddy Move Oh my god, he freaking leveled them up already. So the crippling witch doctor seems to be less of the uh, less of the the problem I like. It, it's it's the one that I want, which is to level them up, have them level up. Bloodthirsty. Ow! Stop it! Stop hitting me! So yeah, we haven't turned in any of the missions, so it's kind of like whatever for me. Come on, seriously, the accuracy though. There we go. I just need to get rid of that guy. Oh god, oh. Oh boy. Oh. There goes that guy. Oh, there it is. Oh, blood. Now, just put it into a can I set up, and you can summon the rat and kill it for me instead of killing it for Hammerlock. Okay. Oh, so then there's two witch doctors here. What in the name is going on? Two witch doctors? Oh no! Oh I see, so you're the one who just holds me down. Okay, so the crippling witch doctor is pref preferable versus the bloodthirsty one. Or the life stealing one. Oh cool. The demon warriors are here. Oh. There we go. Grab whatever I can here. Uh, they did drop some good stuff, I guess. Oh, so this guy doesn't... Yeah, the badass don't really level up ever. Die, you ass. Oh. Oh. Oh, they, they, they do level up. Oh my god. If they level up, then this is bad. Horrendously bad. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. Got him. Holy crap. Oh my god, look at the fire just like hit them up. Oh! <laughs> they couldn't heal it in time. Oh, ow. Oh, he has the ultimate badass. Okay, enough, enough, enough. Die already, damn it. There's another one. There's another uh, witch doctor, but I just don't want to deal with it at the moment. The ultimate freaking like badass is right here too. Go that way. You know what he reminds me of? It does remind me of Juggernaut it's from Dota 2, like his newest skin. His newest skin is like somewhat similar to that sense. Ah. Oh, I see. So it accidentally. I see what you did there. So the bloodthirsty hunter basically like distracted me or was trying to distract me. Good night. I should grab his item soon. So the bloodthirsty was just a decoy like thing. Like he was just like doing his own thing. Ammo. Class mod. All right, cool. Man, that guy dropped some good stuff. The ultimate uh I think the ultimate also dropped in like something uh, a, a better sniper rifle. No, it didn't. It dropped in the old the old sniper rifle picked up because that's the same numbers I had previously. Human barbecue, really? Aw, I didn't know that was a thing. All right, so we need to. I'm just gonna leave the witch doctor here alone. That little life stealing witch doctor guy. 
I'm just gonna leave him be. Don't need to deal with him. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move on to putting this rocket in, uh, in some cannon, I guess. I'm assuming this is to hurt Nakayama, but I don't know if that would really make a difference, really. But, whatever. Jump. Jump. Ugh. Okay, let's go grab the rocket. Or we, let's go uh, put it in the rocket. I don't know. Don't know what to expect, really. I'm pretty sure if I put it in, it's not like it's gonna make a difference for me. Hey, buddy. Come on. There goes those guys. Oh. Darn it. Okay, let me... Oh. I realize there's a bird's nest up here. Oh, what? It is a wreck for us. Oh my god, there's so much side activities in this place. What the hell, dude? I was like, is those nests... Are those nests, like, really interesting? There it goes. That guy. There we go. He's dead. Where's the dinghy? Alright, I'm gonna just head out of this thing, nonetheless. Oh boy. Gotta run. I don't know I don't know what I picked up because the thing was shooting at me, so I couldn't get it. I didn't get to see what the hell it showed me. Alright, let's get going. It's up here, it seems. Hey, Rake. Oh god, there's so much Rakes. I pissed them off, like, completely. It's so funny. Why the hell are you guys shooting me from afar? That's not fair. I didn't even shoot you from afar that far. What in the name, dude? Freaking, like, they're shooting me from, like, a distance, and I'm like, I didn't even do anything like this. Okay, you're at the cannon. Now just load in the gunpowder, then fire it off, and summon the rack! Really? Oh, summoning the rack. Good luck. Uh, things. Oh. oh, don't tell me it's that big giant rake that I fought in the first game. I remember there was one, and that was the only time there is one that was that big. Wait, what? I don't see anything. I don't see any giant rakes. Oh my god, it is the- oh my god, oh my god, this is the big guy. <laughs> it's the same one, but it's this one is corrosive based. Ah! How can I shoot you from afar like this? What in the name, dude? Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh my god, no. Why are they even close? Stop it, you're, you're doing nothing but hurting me. There we go. Screw you. Taking my shots around. Okay, let me get out of this. This is not helping me as much either. It's not helping as much, but it does help a little bit. Yeah, it seems like they're, they reduce the height of how it looks like. Come on. Come on down. Boom. Ah. A wise decision, Claptrap. True strength comes from within. Oh god, that was so classy. <laughs> Teach me how to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> Claptrap became desperate. Alright, cool. We can turn in three of the freaking goddamn oh. missions <laughs> into him. So we can level up, I think. Yeah, we can cl closely level up now. Uh, is there any new weapons? I got them. You need them. Nope, nothing good. Color-wise, yes, I do need that. Oh. Oh, I'm full of- yeah, yeah, I'm full of the room. I have no room left. Oh, I should've kept the rocket launcher. But then again, it might not have enough damage, probably. No, I don't want that. Come back later when you give me a last three shots freaking assault rifle. Gosh dang it. Um, there we go. Buy this. Bonus. Sure 
boom. Sure, I guess. Uh, is there any tokens I've gotten? Yes, I got token. Uh, more gun accuracy, please. I want to get more gun accuracy because I don't feel like we have enough gun accuracy in this game. Like, when we shoot, we're just not shooting accurately enough sometimes. And it's sometimes useful because when I'm, like, at the last health, like, I'm in last breath mode. Fantastic day for capitalism. Like, when I'm in my last breath, I'm always going to be, like, aiming Can't without scoping down. Nothing like a good thing. Uh, so yeah, like in your last breath, you don't get to scope down ever. So it becomes a hassle where you're like, oh, I have to use my shotgun. But then we'll have my shotgun is out of ammo. Oh no, I'm have to use, use, use this gun. And like, I don't have enough accuracy. So that's why I need that accuracy to go up for some of my guns and most of my guns. And also to have better damage in hands because it has to have enough ways to kill the person. He's down the Savage Hunter. Oh god, the Savage Hunter's back. Where are we going? Oh, he's not dead yet. Got him. Ow. Ah. You wanna freaking contest me in the freaking hitting wars here, huh? Gotcha. Freaking douchebag. Alright, let's go. Let's go and turn in these missions, I guess. Let me grab some more ammo for free. Oh, free money. Dollar, dollar, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. I just collect as much dollars as I can. All right, let me see uh, this time if we have any tokens again. Yes, we do. It's weird enough that we got more tokens. Uh, yes, more of this. More gun accuracy. I might do more grenade damage soon because the grenade's also useful as well. There are points in time where I just, like, don't have to hassle or struggle with it. Get out of here. Alright, I just need to meet with Claptrap. I don't care for, uh, killing anyways at the moment. Alright, is there an elevator here again? I forget. Yep, there we go. Alright, let me go grab whatever's in here. There we go. So yeah, we will continue onwards to the main quest of what Claptrap has ordered us to do. I say order because he usually likes to be ordered. He, he usually likes to order us, like, to do things for him. It's like really weird, but whatever, I guess. It's really weird, but it's whatever. By the way, how much is our pistol again? 1800. Ah. It's not that... Like, I mean, I, it is kind of big, but it's not like the, the ones that I thought it was going to be. I thought we were like at 3k with pistol damage, but it looks like it's 1k only. 18k only. Or 1.8k. Which, I really wish that we could find like a 2,000 one. Or a 3,000 one. Hopefully it's empty, Claptrap. Please do not leave this place with enemies to fight. I don't want to fight. Alright, here we go. We're going to wreck this professor guy! Sure. Stinky. Sure. Stealing other people's catchphrases? Who? Oh, and then there's one more mission. Hey, Got it. I found the peeing skag who made all that trouble for you. He's somewhere out here in the grove. You should find him and take him down. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, we leveled up, so that's good. Um. No, not that. This. Alright, so we leveled up. I don't know. Oh, ah, damn it. That's not why I want it. So, so the class mod gave me resurgence, but at the same time, like, with well, a melee attack restores health. I mean, it's not completely leveled up, honestly. I wouldn't say it's not useful per se, I, but I do want to have this where it goes up with critical hits because this is like, well, I mean, not only that, I'd like some gun damage as well. Because I'm starting to lose some damage and gun damage. Uh, or maybe even high accuracy or bullet speed. Zoom and stuff like that and critical hit as well. Yeah, that, that would have like helped me out a lot. But I mean, this is helpful as well. Resurgence. Um, oh, we can get... While moving, you deal increased... 
Sure, I guess. I do move a lot, actually, in this game. Alright, anyways, let's get going, shall we? Alright, where do we need to go is... On the map. It's on our right. That's pretty close by, actually. I'm looking at it now. That's pretty close by, because... Because it looks like it's right next to my dinghy, apparently. Like, right next door to my dinghy. And it's, like, right next door to the entrance to going back to Hammerlock's area. So let's deal with this, and then we'll do the main mission. I thought there was no more missions. Side missions that Claptrap was going to give us. But apparently there was a lot more than I expected. A little bit more than I expected. That was left. <gasps> Hi, buddy. Okay, screw this. Oh, okay, I guess. <laughs> I killed them without even, like... <laughs> I just threw a grenade in and they're dead. Okay, I thought somebody was walking still. So got it. Alright, cool. So, yeah, this fight won't be too far from here, so that's good. Um... Yeah, because I kind of got tired of, like, driving outwards somewhere. Alright, he's here. But why here, specifically? Oh, I mean, maybe he's on top of me. I actually realized that, because it's not in the, in the entrance, but on top of the entrance. Because there is a lot of platforming up there, so... Let's go climb up there. Before we do that, we should also sell some stuff, because... I have too much stuff on me. Like too much like items or already. Not until you give me something good, at least. Marcus, you gotta give me something good. I literally don't like the fact that you're giving me crap weapons here. Yeah, that pistol almost got to the eighteen hundred. It was like sixteen forty nine. Whatever. Like it was sixteen forty nine, so I was like, uh no, that's not good enough. Alright, so anyways, let's go up here. Alright. It's gotta be more up, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like there's more ups. Gotta go all the way up, probably. Yeah, I feel like it's all the way up there, not down here. It's too too far short from here. Uh, why didn't I open this one up? I wonder. All right. Or maybe it's not up there. Maybe. <clears throat> Oh, the only way was to jump. Okay, I should have went to where Claptrap was and then jumped from his platform area. Yeah, because he said near the grove here. And I was like, hmm, nearby here, I'm guessing? Oh, God. Get out of here. Move. All right. Let me go through Claptrap's area here. Let's go to the area that Claptrap was putting up on us. Um, and then we'll try to fo- uh, not fo- not focus, but like figure out, uh, where to go from there. Because hit it's confusing that it's like down there, you think it's down there, but it's not, it's like up there, like up on the top above it. Plus this is the only place that kind of has the highest platform. Like this is the area that only has the highest platform here. Alright, here we go. Oh hey, it's the burning thing again. Human barbecue. Is that three? Yeah, three out of four. Alright, one more human barbecuing like event here, and then we're good. Plus, we should take out any nests that are still around. None here. None here. Because, I, yeah, I noticed there were trees here, too. Like, the trees are starting to, like, make me think, like, hey, there might be a nest there. <laughs> a rake nest. Why is this area blanked out? <gasps> This area is like so blank. What happened here? Oh, shotgun ammo. Whoa, that's some free shotgun ammo and a grenade. Yeah, it's weird. There's like this whole like blank spot on the map there. All right. Yeah, he has a green antenna thingy. We need to get on top of here. 
And let's go more up. Over here. Uh, let's see what's in these things. Nothing special here. There's a flower thing again. Man, look at this wasteland. Holy crap. Whoever designed these areas are just like crazy cool. Look at this. The illusion that you're still stuck in this world kind of thing. It kind of makes me feel that way. It's just so fantastic. Uh, I need to get onto this. I don't... I don't know when these flower collection things are gonna come in play, into play yet because I know these flower things gotta be something. Oh wait, so it's not... Is it not here, really? Nothing there. I thought it would be, I guess. So it might be under, I guess? Huh. Alright, well, let's jump down. <laughs> I'm scared now. Holy crap. Oh, that scared me. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> I was like, a, I was just like, I'm gonna jump down. And I jumped all the way down. Alright, let's see. Is it here, maybe? Yeah, I don't get it. Where where the hell do you get, get from here? I see a cargo as well. Kind of curious about that. He said locate the creature's tracks, but I don't see any tracks. <sighs> Is it this one? Okay, so we're locating tracks, not not where they're at. My bad. I thought it was right here. Like they they sat here and like they're still here. Nothing there. Okay, so I wasted time just thinking thinking differently, I guess. Maybe this guy's a track? Reminds me of Dr. Zed? Yeah, reminds me of Dr. Zed a little bit. Let me see here. Huh. Why would he leave his tracker anyways? It's beyond me if he's leaving his track. At the same time, there's no obvious tracks either. They don't tell you the obvious tracking of where they're going. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get where the tracking is coming from. I don't get it. I really don't. Unless you mean the uh, the hand. There's a rake going around. Come on, rake. Never gonna come back to me anyways. I wonder what the lotus is too. Like I'm wondering about the lotus as well. I see the lotus here. I wonder if we're gonna pick up those lotuses as well. I'm guessing that his tracking is his hand. Because we I know there's a beast here. That has a big handprint. But then there's no big handprint in there, so How could that be? I don't know. Alright, well, anyways, I'm just gonna move on. I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna look this up because I don't get it a little bit. I'm pretty sure if somebody knows about this mission or side quest that they've done it, and they're just gonna, like, tell me, then great. But at the same time, I just I just guess I can't really do it now because I don't understand what I'm doing. Alright, let's find this Claptrap unit here. I think this is a story quest anyways because it seems like it says story mission on it. Alright, let's go and look for this Claptrap princess here. Oh, we gotta have to drive there. Okay, let's go drive there. I feel like this is a claptrap princess. Or maybe just a claptrap in general. Who knows. Trap, cap, claptrap is always so lonely. It's just so sad. But at the same time, this is the same claptrap that we know of in terms of uh, the first Borderlands series. Because the first Borderlands series uh, had him being like evil and such. Like he had the robot revolution thing. Which was crazy and cool, but at the same time, like, just dangerously sad. They were not dangerously sad, but dangerous, basically. Timmy! <laughs> it just makes me think that. It just makes me think, Timmy! I'm like, okay. 
Alright, so they responded, so I'm guessing there's gonna be respawns here, too. If not, then that's good. If there is, then damn it. Alright, cool. Let's go. The dinghy's wings are, like, annoying in terms of sound effects, honestly. Like, at first it was fine, too. That's, I gotta point that out, because it's, like... It's a little annoying, but I, at the same time, kind of understand why they have to put that, because it's immersion of the sound effects stuff. It sounds like you're near the blip, but I don't see... Oh, wait! That skag swallowed the claptrap unit! You've got to protect the skag until he vomits the claptrap up! Sure. But how would he... How did he eat the claptrap? And why is he... Why does he need to be protected? Isn't he strong enough to protect himself? I bet it, I bet the robot's already dead. I don't know. I highly doubt he's gonna be like alive still. Oh wow. People are spawning up now. Oh come here. Get out of here. Come on, old Pookie. Just be careful. I really hate these guys so much. They're just like trying to hit them. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna screw them over here. Come here! Get out of here. Oh, ow! You got me. Come on, come here. Got him. Yeah, I know. Got him. Stop it. Oh. Oh my god, he's getting hit. I know. I'm trying to protect the person, but the thing keeps running away from me. Leave me alone, god dang it. It would be worse if they leveled up like right here and then, honestly. Oh my god, why are you getting why are you getting caught up with things, man? I highly doubt you have that in right mind. I highly doubt that's correct. Pop trap that you're gonna get something similar in a romance. Get out of here. Ah. Oh my god, they're not letting him go. Not letting this thing go. Sure, you guys. Get in there. Got him. He's almost dead, sadly enough. It's one more guy. It's one more guy, I think. It's just one guy left. Hi, buddy. Oh my god, I hate rails. They're blocking me. I can't even shoot through them sometimes. Got him. Alright, vomit it up, man. Vomit it up before you die, man. I just don't want to deal with any more of this pain. You protected Pukey, minion! Woohoo! He's finally going to buff up my fellow claptrap unit! I highly doubt it. I think it's gonna be like. I came out here for no reason then. Do I kill old Pukey or did I leave him be? Okay, he's fine. He doesn't seem like he's showing any signs of like... He looks like he's just fine with it, with me being around him. Alright, cool. It's just sad, like... Oh man, that's just so sad. Here, and, and here I thought that it was gonna be like... Cool that we're gonna get a second clap trap and all that, but oh man, that's sad. 
All right, let's get on to uh, turning in this mission. I am yes, I am out of this. I am out of time. I think apparently. Dude, stop, bump, boom, bin, dun. Oh, there's like a freaking beat right there. It just happened to show up. It's like just like some random ass beats out of the blue. Alright, uh... Yeah, we're almost there. We just need to get over here. So we're gonna turn in this mission. I'll end the episode here because, uh... Although I wasted a few minutes of my time just doing... Searching for the tracks, which I don't know how the tracks look like or what to do in terms of finding these tracks. Um... I'm sorry, Marcus. You haven't been able to fix them yet. I will... Put the far boat skin, I guess. Anyways, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Hope you guys in the next part or nobody minds. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day, week, and night. One of watching this. Um, in the next part, we will go into the main mission for once. Uh, if I do find, if I do have the time to search up information about the uh, tracking as well, I will also do that in the next part. But I highly doubt I will do it because I get kind of busy with other things like playing games, playing other games. Or, uh, if not playing other games, then just doing my own things. It's like editing videos and watching videos and stuff. But at most, I will try my best to find information about the tracking stuff. Somewhere in time, in the future. Oh god, it just, the thing disappeared. Oh yeah, because I went up and then jumped down, rather. Okay. Yep. Here it comes. But yeah, um, in the next part, we'll just do those main missions and the side quests and such. I just hope there isn't, like, something that similar to what Torque has it, where, like, you look at this, like, Torque's, Torque's crap with Tier 2s and Tier 3s. These are the ones I don't like a lot, because they're just not fun to do. They're just, like, challenging. That they're all, That's all it is. It's challenging. That's all it is. Challenging. It's not, like, fun. It's just challenging. And there's no story, there's no story provision for it, or provided for it, so. Anyways, let's turn this mission. Boom. Oh, metaphorical Christmas sweater of depression. You are so very comfortable. And you smell like cookies. And tears. Sure. Sad, but sure. Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, so that's it for me today in this part. And also the session for today. Um, do know that I'm going to try my best to finish up more of this game. Uh, I know that... Each DLC, each main, D, each main, each main DLC runs about like eight hours ish. So I should take about it should take about a span of like six parts, I think. No, six times thirty is or thirty five or something. Thirty six times thirty is like one eighty. So it's like yeah, one eighty, and then it'll be three hours. Yeah, so it might be like about. 12 parts before then until we complete it like about 12 12 to uh 13 parts or 15 parts whichever how mu however much it goes through sometimes i might go over the board and i just like go 45 minutes by accident uh because i want to finish this quest or finish this one quest or something like that but in the general case it's just i'm trying my best to finish this uh dlc i'm gonna try to finish the other main dlc i know i'm, I'm looking at this pretty early on because i'm probably worried about timing because i will be gone again uh soon so like i will be like going away for the whole fall fall stuff season and coming back in like winter time like for only three weeks and like i only have three weeks to do like these videos and try to finish up some series here um i don't want the borderlands 2 to like lag behind for too much further um but at the same time borderlands 2 it's been it's been fun. I mean, I've been trying to uh, finish this game as much as I can. Although it is that, it is also the fact that it's been fun. It's been very crazy because I get to meet like these fantastically well-made, crazy characters like Moxie, Tina, uh, Mr. Twerk, which is kind of new towards like in the end of this game. Um, Claptrap, Sir Hamelock, Marcus, so and so forth. The list goes on and on. Like we get to meet so much fantastically well-made, like crazy characters. And I do uh, just want to do, like, all of that so we can get through with most whatever it is here. But anyways, that's it for me in this part. And that's it for me for the time being. So, Roz, out. <laughs>